Climate change is one of the biggest challenges facing the world and is expected to have a significant impact on business for decades to come. In response, NTT is promoting research and development of green software development and operation technology intended to reduce CO2 emissions throughout the software supply chain based on the concept of using electric power intelligently with a focus on less electric power and less hardware. To decarbonize the entire software supply chain, it is necessary to visualize and reduce CO2 emissions from software development to operation. However, no standard method for calculating CO2 emissions caused by software products has been established, other than monetary-based calculation methods, making it difficult to clearly measure the effect of reduction efforts made by developers. So, in cooperation with domestic software-related companies, NTT has taken the lead in establishing rules for calculating CO2 emissions caused by software products. These rules are consistent with the Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industries Carbon Footprint Guidelines. As a steering member of the Green Software Foundation, NTT Data has worked with other member companies to formulate the Software Carbon Intensity SCI rating, which is a score used to evaluate carbon emissions by software use. NTT is also developing technology to visualize and estimate CO2 emissions during the software development phase. First, the system collects power consumption information to calculate CO2 emissions at a development site. In addition to measuring the power consumption of ICT devices, such as PCs and servers, which are major sources of CO2 emissions, the system collects other power consumption data associated with software development, such as that related to lighting and air conditioning. Next, it registers the developer's working hours. It then aggregates and processes these data based on the calculation rules established by NTT to calculate CO2 emissions. The calculated emissions can then be disclosed in reports. NTT has automated a series of steps to analyze and visualize the relationship between power consumption and software development activities. The system enables the calculation of CO2 emissions and supports the planning of actions for further reductions, without the need for emission calculation experts to be present at development sites. Through these activities for standardizing calculation rules and developing technology for efficient CO2 emission calculation, we aim to realize green procurement of software products. Next, let's turn to efforts to reduce CO2 emissions in the software operation phase. CO2 emissions from software operation are affected by the power generation methods of the locations where the software is run and the power saving features of the servers it runs on. We need to help operators to capture both geographically and temporally changing environmental loads in real time select the server locations which will yield the greatest CO2 reductions and execute software programs at those locations. In collaboration with NTT Data, our laboratories are working to establish technology that uses SCI, which has become an ISO standard to automatically deploy software programs in the locations and on servers that can best minimize CO2 emissions. Decarbonization of the software sector has not been given enough attention. NTT will create a standard indicator for assessing software CO2 emissions and establish both technology to visualize and calculate CO2 emissions in line with this standard indicator, 
and technology to reduce CO2 emissions during software operation. So that green software can be developed and operated greenly, thereby bringing decarbonization to the software industry.